Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So in our today's tutorial, I'll show you how to play an audio from the assets folder using Android Kotlin. So as you can see under the main folder, main directory, I had created a directory which I had given its name as assets and then I had copied my mp3 file into this assets folder and this is our uh, main Kotlin file music player and under the layout uh, directory, we are having our XML file. So in my XML file, I had created two buttons. First button is to play my audio and second button is to stop that audio, right? So let's go, go to our main Kotlin file and I will show you how I did that. So this is our idea of my play button and uh, by using play button, I had called to my play method function and inside the function, I am using try and catch block to handle the exceptions that may occur. And here I had created the global variable which is P and which is type of media player. And then I had created one more variable which is known as AFD and uh, in this uh, variable I store my mp3 file uh, which I will fetch from this assets folder. So we will use the context of our application dot get assets. To fetch the assets folder we are using get assets method dot open fd. fd uh, means file descriptor. So open the file descriptor from the assets folder and pass the name of the mp3 file. Right. So here I am having my name as trial.mp3 and same I will pass here as a string. And then the object of your media player dot set data source. Uh, you need to use this method and inside that you will pass three uh, functions. Right. First one is uh, the variable of the mp3 file which I created here and then dot get file descriptor which will uh, fetch that file and get it. And then uh, it will start that file uh, that start that audio and it will check the length of that audio. So these three parameters we need uh, to play the audio, right? So we had got that and then we will use that object of that mp3 file dot close and that will close and then we will prepare uh, to play that audio. So prepare will call prepare method and at the end we will call start method which will uh, finally play that audio, right? So now we had played that audio. Now we need to stop uh, that audio, right? So as you can see, we had declared it globally as a media player object and we will just call this stop method to stop that audio, right? So let's run the program and see if it works uh, fine or not. So as you can see here, we are having two buttons. When we click on play, it plays the audio. It will stop the audio, right? So in this way, we can uh, use the audio files from our assets folder in our Android application. Hope you like this tutorial and if you want any help related to any uh, Android uh, related any Android, you can comment in comment box or you can mail me on my mail ID. I'll leave my mail ID in my description file. So thanks for watching.